Hi Kickstarter, my name is John McBride, the CEO and one of the founders of Looking Glass XR. I come to you today because we need your support. We have been in business since 2015 doing creative work and custom work in the XR space, mainly for VR and AR. About 2018, when the Oculus Go came out, our project load became really high to the point that um, customers, our clients, were activating more and more headsets for certain projects. And I'm not talking about six or seven, I'm talking about 20 headsets, 30 headsets, even 60. And it got to the point that halfway through the development build, they came to us back with another question. Where do we put these headsets when they're not using them? And we said, we don't know, you plug them in because you have to have them charged. But they came back to us and said they couldn't find anything that would support that many headsets. So we took it upon ourselves to see if we could solve this problem. And what we came up with in 2018 is the VR charging and storage solution. These are three solutions that will solve any problem, whether it's a fixed kind of in a scenario where you have a training center or you have an academia where they might be sharing headsets from classroom to classroom, or you even have a VR lab where you can put them on a device that will store them and also charge them. Our three solutions are the VR power wall, the VR power tower, and also the VR media cart. Now this has been a long, long road. And when we decided to design these, we actually never really made something physical. We always made software. And we didn't realize how much it was gonna entail and also how long it was gonna take. So we started with the VR media cart because one of our clients bought 60 of the Oculus Go's and they needed a solution quickly. But we also realized we weren't gonna bust this card out in less than a month. We're coming to you today because we just didn't design these on paper. We physically actually made prototypes. And I wanna show you that now. Okay, so here we are. We're at the VR media card. This is a full metal, heavy duty, it, it, it rolls. And it was designed for the Oculus Go. So basically we made it, so basically you could lay it on it it even has these little hooks where you could hang the um, controller and then you just plugged it in and charged it. This will charge and store up to 30 Oculus Go's. Um, it even has storage on the bottom and we kind of pimped it out with um, the wipes and also the face masks. Now over here was something different. About nine months later, we decided to take the version of and learn what we learned from the cart and apply it to the VR power tower. This was a little different because by this time it was 2019 and the Oculus Quest came out. We knew then that this all in one, the six degrees of freedom that the Oculus Quest was gonna deliver was gonna be a game changer. So we designed this around the Oculus Quest One and basically we had to design this little mount here, this pedestal that basically allowed it to almost hold any. And this, we tested it on the Pico, we tested it on the Lenovo Solo Mirage and we even designed it for the Oculus Quest that it would hold the uh, two controllers and it would also charge it. We also did one request because a lot of people that saw the cart asked if we could lock down the headsets when they were not in use. So we made this theft preventative lid that actually could, could be locked. It wasn't something that we were gonna include if we went into a production. It even offered a little storage drawer here and also at the top, a little kind of marquee that you could put your school on or even your uh, company and it lit up. So this is where we are now. We prototyped the first two, but we realized that designing them this way, it was gonna be very expensive to, to ship them. And we had to hit a critical mass of uh, production that would not bring the price down to a market ready product. But then we decided when the pandemic hit, to prototype the last one, the VR Powerwall. And let me come this way and show you where we are today and why we're coming to Kickstarter right now. This is our version of the VR Powerwall. This is prototype one. We designed it about six, uh, uh, back in March. We went into prototyping mode, got this delivered to us um, in about October of last year. Uh, it, has the same pedestal design, but we've realized in the new Oculus Quest um, 2 that we're gonna add a little lip here, so that way you feel like it was uh, se secure. Also, we realized the real estate here was not long enough in case you installed the uh, Elite strap, 
And the gutter system here, the little storage that would be universal, any type of controller, whether it was the Pico, the Quest 1, the Quest 2, just wasn't wide enough. So then we come over here to the second prototype of the Powerwall, which is um, a little taller, has a little more real estate here. And um, this is still the older design, but we're, um, and if you look on our Kickstarter page, we actually have the new design of this. It has a little bit of, of a fin, so that way when you put the headset on it, it actually will be secure and it won't slip, slip off. As, as you can see here, it holds the Go. It holds the uh, older and discontinued Lenovo Solo um, Mirage and the Quest 2, the Quest 1, and even the Pico line. When these ship, they will be fully wired. On the back end in this little hollow point here is a 10 port USB data and charging bay that all these are wired into. We gave you um, um, enough room in the back that it's all wired and we have a cleat um, mounting bracket that you mount the cleat and this just hangs on the wall. So this is what, th there's gonna be a few more tweaks on this in the production run. And if we hit one of our milestone goals of 250,000, you'll be able to get this in not just um, the gray that we're gonna ship it in, you'll also be able to get it in this white and also black. We also have, if you look on on our uh, Kickstarter page, we also have a four unit uh, version. So it's, it's the same version, but from here up. And we also have a single unit for, if you just want it one for yourself. I thank you for your time today. Please um, support us and share it out. Thank you for your time.